Hi, this is Dr. Ben Morrill. Welcome to episode 47 of Reptile Genetics Weekly. Glad to have you here with us. Got some more good news this week. Keep making progress, which is awesome. Um, but first of all, as always, talk about samples and results. Uh, some of you are going to the Tinley show this weekend, and I know many of you are waiting for results uh, for animals you may be taking to the show. Um, so the run is still going right now, and I should have a whole bunch of data tomorrow, probably tomorrow afternoon. And so I will cruise through it as fast as I can. So um, today's Tuesday, so tomorrow is when I'll start analyzing. So hopefully sometime on Thursday, and I'll try to do it as fast as I can. I know some of you will already be traveling on Thursday, so I'll try to get as much of it done as fast as I can. Um, but should have at least some going out Thursday, um, worst case scenario on Friday. Uh, but, but yeah, like I said, because so many of you are going to Tinley, we are going to really push to get that back to you so that you can know what's going on for Tinley. Um, and then for fast testing, as always, going out multiple times a week, uh, we'll have some more going out to that tonight. Uh, I know those they're uh, doing some runs right now, uh, so we'll be analyzing and, and posting those later today. So those are coming quick as well. But yeah, how are you doing, Kayla? Hey, Ben, I'm doing great. Uh, extra great because I'm finally out of Eaton, uh, working at a new job that I'm loving. So uh, now I have two jobs that I really enjoy. So life is good. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. You have to yeah. Tell, tell people a little bit about the uh, experiences you got at your new job, your new other part time oh. job. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, I, I'm not sure how um, how much info I can give at the moment. I got to talk with my I got to talk with Chester uh, Thursday, um, but uh, it's, it's in a nutshell, it's at a wildlife center. So I get to hit. So it's, it's really cool. Um, I hear really crazy good stories and also some that are just absolutely coconuts. So, you know, um, <laughs> so in the future, once I know uh, how much I can share, then I will be sure to share crazy <laughs> stories. <laughs> um, but the but bottom things, line is you get to focus on animals at both yes. jobs now. Oh, yes. Um, and of course, I get to see like the native uh, snake species that we have, too. And they are amazing. And of course, I get to see my black rats, which are my favorites. So um, yeah. and the localities we get around here are just so pretty. Like they're just a dark black, like fully grayscale, um, very little color to it. Like it's just black and then stark white jaws and the checkered belly. So pretty. Um, cool. And we get to help them before releasing. So it's awesome. Um, Great. But yeah, so let's talk about some ball python stuff. Um, we have, uh, of course, our fast test that you mentioned. Yes. Yeah. So we're, our goal was to have, uh, our, our goal right now, we already reached all the goals with the fast testing up to this point, but our goal is to have all of them done by sometime in April. And yeah. uh, we already more than half the way there so uh, mm -hmm. the next few that will be coming through are yellow belly lavender albino ultramel mojave and lesser slash butter but uh yeah during this month we'll we'll get through all of them so we'll have by sometime in april we'll have all 30 morph tests and we'll have the sex determination test for ball pythons all of that will be available as a fast test with one to two business day turnarounds so Sometime in April, all that will be there finally. Yeah, that'll be awesome. Um, yes. Just in time for baby season two. So oh, really yeah. exciting. Definitely. Uh, I go also, on. I hear you confirmed something. You confirmed this meme. I mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> meme is 100% correct. Um, so we have tested 10 blitz sheds now, and it's always been identical to what we see for Trick and what we see for Hurricane. So, so we'll all right. And uh, Clutch know that they can list it, the test as hurricane slash trick slash blitz now. <laughs> Perfect. Um, I, I think it was Darian of Morph Market who posted this uh, or posted the Adventures with Cali meme yeah, uh, yeah. first. So I've just had it saved <laughs> uh, ever since then until we proved it. So now vin vindication. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And, uh, the adventures with Callie, the person that originally made it, she messaged me on Facebook and oh, I yeah. guess 
So in the in the ball python world, she's like, "Hey, that's awesome! You use my meme." <laughs> yeah, we're using it again, Callie. Thank you. We've right. had, we're getting good mileage out of this. <laughs> I think it was from a few years back, so that's pretty pretty funny and pretty cool. Oh, that's nice. All right. Um, so just this one's just a general post. You know, if you see, uh, we talk a lot about ball pythons, but um, and they tend to be the more popular. Uh, morphs right now. But if there are morphs that you're not seeing or species that you're not seeing that we're working with, send us sheds. Um, uh, that's that's how we're able to create these tests. Um, yeah. We are and, nothing without you. <laughs> we can't even take the first step until we have a bunch of sheds. Exactly. Um, and so it's really easy to find, you know, how to do this. Go to that link I sent you. Um, or you can just go to raregeneticsinc.com uh, check out the little video I've got scrolling right now. Um, you can help develop new tests by sending uh, by following the instructions here. Uh, they're very simple. Um, send a nice, clean, dry shed to the um, PO box that we have listed there. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to start making the morphs and spe species DNA tests that you're looking for. Yes. All right. And the so, shed, the sheds do stay good for years. So as long yes. as they're as long as they're collected and dried completely dried out, if they sit in a wet conditions for a few days, then they're already trash. But yeah, yep. as long as you get them fairly quickly after the snake sheds and dry them out completely, then put them in a Ziploc and mail mm -hmm. them to us. Even if we don't use them for two years, we can still use them then. So don't don't think, oh, I gotta make sure it's you know completely fresh or what if I send it to them now and they're not doing this until whenever. So just go ahead and send them in and they'll, they'll keep. Yeah. As long as it's not wet, it's okay. Uh, I, we once stumbled across a moldy bull snake shed. It's like a ball of funk. Yeah. Uh, truly yeah, that was not going to work. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was, it was something. <laughs> um, but yeah. Went, so into the trash. <laughs> yes, it did. <laughs> uh, all right, so it's time for a monthly morph, our monthly morph spotlight. Uh, do you want to tell us about that, Ben? Yeah. So this month we're going to talk. Last time we talked about pied. We're kind of going through in chronological order. Um, the the next uh, cool publication that came out was on albino oh, and other similar albino morphs like lavender albino, um, candy toffee, ultramel. Um, but uh, this first one we'll do is on albino, which um, candy slash toffee is uh, there. There's actually three different mutations. Two of the mutations cause albino and they we can't tell the difference as keepers and breeders. They look the same to us. There's, like I said, two different mutations that cause albino. And then there's a third mutation that causes candy slash toffee. And so in our testing and at Eastern Michigan University, the people that, that published this to begin with, um, they saw candy and toffee animals as being identical. Um, so yes, it was Dr. Seidel et al. and her students at Eastern Michigan that um, got all the sheds collected, that did the extractions and sequencing and mapping and then validating all that stuff uh, for for albino and candy slash toffee. And in future months, we'll talk about um, lavender albino and ultramel and, and then yeah. others as well. So, so they've done a lot of really cool work and this is several years back now, but if you go to Dr. Seidel's website, I think it's the ball Python project. Um, yeah. If you put in Dr. Seidel in Eastern Michigan, it'll come up pretty easy. But if you are interested in, in reading the actual paper they published, then there's a link there and, mm -hmm pretty cool yeah and then uh we'll give a, a moment here for this to be listed these are all people that sent in sheds so took the time some of them are are larger breeders that you'll for sure recognize others are you know smaller breeders or just keepers that took the time to to prepare sheds and send them in and you know they've got lots of people listed here it's very cool this like i said this is several years back before we were doing any more stuff at all with rare genetics probably the only thing we had going on was uh colubrid sex determination if even that um this is yeah. a little bit before that so 
so yeah, very cool that people took the time to to prepare sheds and send them in. And so we'll we'll leave this up here for a second so people can see. And and uh, just very thankful to anyone along the path that took time to contribute in any way to making all this testing possible now. Yeah, and I recognize a few names on there too. Now that I uh, now that I look at it, I see. Um, I actually, I'm, if it's the Aaron Burt I'm thinking of, I think I know them. Uh, of course, we see Justin, Justin Kobilka, um, yeah. before the Canova rename. You uh, know, Eric Chung and yeah, we got Ryan Young, Molecular Reptile. There's there's definitely several there. Yeah, and all these people help contribute to that, so that's awesome. Um, let's see, so how do these how do these tests shake out? So when we're doing these more spotlights, and eventually we'll we'll have uh, like a a web a web page for each of these morphs. We'll have this listed out so you can refer to this information, and we'll update it as as tests get better. Um, so for the candy slash toffee test, um, that's a really simple one. It's just one mutation for candy slash toffee that we've tested a bunch of times, and. At, you know, Dr. Seidel's tested a bunch of times. Um, so this is an A plus test, and like we talked about with Pied. The only way it can be a plus, an A plus, is if there's a scientific publication, which there is in this case. And so this is something that's been tested over a thousand times and is correct over 99.9% .9 of the time in our hands. And then uh, also has a, a scientific publication to go along with it. So, so candy slash toffee is a very, very good test. And the only reason why albino is is a grade B um, for the albino one, the original albino mutation that was published in the um, Dr. Seidel's publication we referenced earlier, um, that one by itself would be a grade A or A plus since there's a publication. Um, but the second mutation was one she she didn't publish um, a way to be able to test that easily. Um, so that's something we had to work on more to be able to figure out how that second mutation that also causes albino, how we could test reliably for that. So that one is is more in the B range because we have we haven't quite got over a thousand uh, known samples run yet, uh, but we do expect sometime in 2024 to be able to uh, raise that level for the albino test up to an A+. So that's cool. Uh, good to know um, about the albino morph uh, morph spotlight. Uh, so thanks for going over that with us, Ben. Um, I think we're about at the end of our show today. Uh, so was there anything else we wanted to hit on? Yeah, yeah. We do want to mention um, Morph Markets now updated things where you're able to bulk order. So for those yeah. of you that want to get several tests before you had to you know, go through one by one, fill out information. Um, but now what you can do once you go to genetic testing, yeah, go ahead and play that video. Yeah. So you do the genetic testing, you say create a new animal, and then you can say Python, ball Python. Um, and then what it's going to do is ask you for quantity. Mm -hmm. Oh, how funny. You get to see one of my texts. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good morning. <laughs> um, so, yeah pick uh pick what morph you want to do and then it's gonna say quantity so i put 53 there and you say yes and then what it'll do is it'll give you 53 so you can just scroll down to the bottom real quick pay for it and go um, and then it's going to give you a shed id for each of those 53 so you could either take the time to write that on the 53 bags or if you would prefer um, reach out to us. If you're over 50 samples, um, contact us directly um, and let us know. Message us through Facebook or YouTube or Instagram or whatever. I guess maybe not YouTube, but Facebook or Instagram messaging, um, mm -hmm. or you can email and let us know that you, you have over 50. Um, so you'd like to just send us an Excel sheet instead of having to mark all the bags and then later remember what all of those were. Um, we, we can get it as a spreadsheet and be able to um, make that a, you know, a lot faster for you. Um, so you don't have to go through and write all that down. So, so yeah, you can do that bulk order in, in Morph Market now. 
and then um, just send them in with the you make sure you have some kind of animal ID on each bag and then to have that same animal ID in your spreadsheet and then we will use that spreadsheet when we have results we'll just fill out that spreadsheet and send it back to you with all of your results and you're good to go so it makes it much faster to be able to order a bunch and then like I said if you have 50 or more. And it could also be you have 25 sheds, but you want to do um, clown and asphalt on all, you know, 25. That's still 50 tests. You're going to get the the quantity, that larger quantity discount. That's another time where you could reach out to us, say, hey, I want to just pay for these in Morph Market and then um, send you an Excel sheet. And then we'll, when we have the results, we'll fill out the Excel sheet and send it back to you instead of you having to write down that three digit you know, code on all 53 bags or whatever. Um, so this just makes it faster for those of you that are, are doing larger quantities. And then also, as you saw in that, uh, the, the quantity discount automatically gets applied. So good to yeah. go there too. Awesome. Well, good to know, Ben. Um, uh, I guess that's the end of our episode today. So I'll go ahead and uh, put up our end screen here. Everybody, make sure to be uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and uh, leave a comment. Uh, it makes it makes the YouTube algorithm, you know, play a little more nicely with us. Uh, so thank you guys, and uh, let us know what you thought of this uh, uh, this week's um, or this month's morph spotlight. Uh, if it's helped your collections or your uh, um, you know your breeding results at all, um, for those of you working with the albino candy toffee genes. Um, and yeah, anything else, Ben? That's it. Thanks again. Keep sending sheds in for new stuff and, uh, using the tests we've got and we'll keep making more new ones and make them faster and better. All right. Let's call that a wrap. An outro in three, two, one. <laughs>